Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about introduction to agricultural botany, which is a PBG course. So at first, we are going to see about Bentham and Hooker's classification of plant kingdom as well as the international codes of nomenclature and author's citation as well as the agriculture classification of pot of uh, all the crops so it is said to be the first part of the first video and uh, while about giving those some of the introduction words uh, i am going to describe about how the botany word was said to be derived so the botany is said to be a greek word which is said to be derived from a word botany so botany which means to give the meaning of herbs so you can able to understand that so the botany is said to be a study of herbs so while seeing about botany in this uh, lecture one uh, part video first part so we are mostly uh, seeing about major scientific research researchers since the olden days so first one i am going to describe is theoparatus so who is said to be known as the student of aristotle who lived in the age of 372 to 287 bc so he in this duration he used to based classify crops as annuals biennials as well as perennials based on the duration so in his history of plantaria so which is said to be known as his book he classified the plant based on their form texture as herbs shrubs and trees so he used to describe 4450 cultivable plants about the ovary portion as well as nature of corolla in his historia planta so because of his work he is was said to be known as the father of botany and uh, his classification was mainly artificial one so he classified each and every plant by the artificial means so that's uh, what you can able to say that the because of the ovary portion nature of corolla uh, you must need to know that his classification was full and fully of artificial means and uh, after that uh, we are going to see about the types of classification so while seeing about the classification of different crops they are classified as three different types so the first one is artificial and the second one is natural as well as the phylogenetic classifications mm. so the first one artificial so, class uh, system so the artificial system of classification was said to be mainly classified based on the superficial characteristics of the plant so for um, example a scientist named carolus linnaeus who used to publish the book uh, in 1753 which is named as species plantara where he used to describe about the bird 7300 species of plants so he uh, classified each and every plant characteristics based on the number union length and certain other characteristics of stamen uh, into 24 classes so his uh, classes were said to be mainly called as sexual system of classification so his main in the system of classification he was mainly given importance for the floral characters of each and every plant so that's why we are uh, telling it as the sexual system of classification for his work and uh, while seeing about the drawbacks of artificial system so the major drawback is improper grouping so he used to group unrelated plants in a say, same group as well as closely related plants in a wide related groups so because he only classified plants into 24 classes based on the floral pots but there are ma uh, major things which use it to be wide closely related species are said to be even known for example the zingiberacea of monocotyledon uh, and that of anacardiaceae of dicotyledon which is said to be placed in the same group of monantria so because these those two groups have only one stamen so it was said to be the major drawback in artificial system of classification and uh, while seeing his classification he had neither give uh, natural as well as phylogenetic relationship among different groups of plants so these are all the drawbacks of artificial classification made by carlos linnaeus and the second one is uh, natural system so in natural system all the important characteristics are said to be included and the classifications are made so the plants are uh, classified according to their relative affinities so based on their structure and based on their economic growing conditions etc uh, uh, etc et so the more number of characteristics are taken in consideration of the natural system so because of the direct uh, direct observation of plants are said to be made 
in, in the classification of natural system is to be done. So the important modern classifications of natural system was given by Carolus Linnaeus, Benjamin Hooker, Engler as well as uh, John Hitson. So, but in natural system, most of the evolutionary relationship among different groups are said to be not bring out is one of the drawback. So, after that, we are going to see about the history of Benther and Hooker system of classification. So, he is one of the important one in the system of classification. While seeing about them, uh, these are the pictures of Ben George Benjamin as well as Sir Joseph Dalton Hooker. So, these are the two English botanists who used to carry out research at Royal Botanical Garden of Kew. So. They were used to establish the importance of natural system of classification and overcome the artificial system of classification. And uh, it is the picture of Royal Botanical Garden of Kew in present in London. And uh, while seeing about the modern classifications of Benjamin Hooker plants, so he classified plant kingdom into two major groups, which is cryptogamy, the plant reproductive spores, as well as the panerogamy, which is a seed producing groups and then the as the last one they use it to composed of monocotyledon dicotyledon so these are the uh, big major classifications so you can able to see it in the description of lecture notes and uh, as well as in dicotyledon they use it to have the polypeptide of 107 as well as gamma peptide uh, of 45 as well as monoclamidae of 13 groups total 202 groups are present in Descartes and while seeing about the major merits and demerits of the Benjamin Hooker classification uh, the merits are they are mainly based on natural system of classification all the genera of seed plants are said to be descriptor in the Benjamin Hooker as well as the descriptions are majorly accurate precise as well as complete in order and the 202 orders were said to be easily recognized as well as used by the future scientist very easy but while seeing about the demerits um, it does not about bring about the phylogenetic relationship of various groups of plants so it was one of the major drawback as well as the position of gynospermae in dicot as well as monocot is said to be not corrected and uh, some other important floral characters are not considered among some closely related plants are said to be majorly apart so the introduction of new group of monoclamidae is said to be different from other classifications so i have some distinguish some of the key characters in monocots as well as dicot so while seeing about them the one in monocots there is said to be only one cotyledon as well as in dicots there are two cotyledons and the floral pods are said to be in threes as well as the floral pods are said to be in four or fives in dicots and the monocots used to have parallel leaf ends, example rice as well as uh, the dicots which used to have net like leaf ends, for example black gram green gram or the some of the major examples and the pollen grains are used to have one pore or furrow so that used to have only one pollen uh, holes but in dicots they used to have three or more uh, pores as well as uh, furrows and the vascular bundles are said to be through stem or ground tissue but the vascular bundles are said to be arranged in a ring shaped structure in dicots so it is just the part one view of the first uh, lecture so i have given the lecture notes in description so please comment about our video and join us in the instagram page and if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i will catch up in next videos